In this video, I sit down with Dr. Brad Fullerton of Prolo Austin. Dr. Fullerton is a world-renowned physical medicine and rehab physician specializing in non-surgical ways to heal. Together we talk about how to improve your knees, even if you have knee arthritis. Specifically, what type of injections will further harm your knees versus what type of injections will help your knees heal and repair. So the traditional things are corticosteroids, right? They're steroids to block inflammation. And those are the anti-inflammatory bombs. Anti-inflammatories, I use them very occasionally. Mm -hmm. There are times they're justified, but they're way overused, yes. in, in my opinion. Right, um, I would agree with you. <laughs> yeah, and there's plenty of studies showing if you re inject them repetitively over time, they actually break down the cartilage more. Yes. So they can be used sparingly, but I almost never use them in the knee. Almost. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but those are the most common things. Sure. So I try 27 to just... 27% of people that go to see their orthopedist get, get steroid it. injections the first visit. Right. The first visit. They're told they have knee arthritis and boom, they go directly yeah. to that. And a lot of times people say, I didn't really want it, but it just, and I totally identify with that. I was sitting there in that surgeon's office. I was an MD at the time, right? I had my medical degree, but I was very young, right? Early in was just out of medical school. Mm -hmm. And he told me something so confidently, and he's world famous. Yeah, yeah. I was like, of course he knows what he's talking about. Mm. Mm. You learn the hard way that mm, they don't always know what they're talking about, they're just confident. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have a lot of knowledge, but yeah. they may not be applying it to you specifically in the way it should be applied. Right, right, right. right. So anyway. <laughs> So the corticosteroid's the thing, and if uh, if someone immediately says, "Oh, get a steroid, and I'm going to inject your knee," you don't have to you don't have to do it. Mm -hmm. You can say, "Hold on, I don't want an injection today. I want to talk about it and think about it." Yeah, that is fine. That's a great. If, if the physician is offended by that, then probably you need to see a different physician because they're not respecting your autonomy, right? A hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. So keep that in mind. And then the next most common thing now is hyaluronic acid, or HA. Some mm -hmm. people refer to it as rooster combs injections. Or gel injections. Gel injections. Mm -hmm. the, the rooster combs is the first place they kind of got that from. Okay, okay. It's basically a lubricant in the body that's all through the body and right. all these different tissues. And it helps things glide and slide and maintains the health of the joint, and, right? And those, are, those can be good. Mm -hmm. uh, there's controversy about whether they really help or not. And there's big studies showing, yes, they do. And some say, no, they don't really help overall. And, but most insurance still covers them. I think overall they are helpful and they're certainly not harmful like the corticosteroids. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, I agree. And then we often use those uh, in combination with the things that I'm more used to doing, okay. which would be the prolotherapy injections, which are um, most traditionally are dextrose, sugar, mm -hmm. uh, usually about a 15%, mm -hmm. um, and which is more concentrated than what's in your bloodstream. Uh, and so it's a little irritating to the body to have a high level of sugar in a tissue where it's not used to it. And so your body's going to have to respond in some way. And there's ideas of how it responds and how it affects inflammation of nerves. It actually calms inflammation of nerves, the sugar. Um, and then it also, we think, stimulates some repair process because your and your body has to get more blood flow to the area to kind of clear that out. Sure. Right. So that you have to do repetitively. Most people need at least mm, three or four. Mm -hmm. um, but you're not just treating the inside of the joint. You're treating all the soft tissue around the joint that could be affected. So the tradition of Prolo is to actually inject broadly in these soft tissues around the knee mm -hmm. to get some repair in all those rather than just the cartilage itself, right? Do you include the cartilage itself and the surrounding? Well, not injecting into the cartilage, but inside the knee so okay. that it kind of bathes the cartilage. Really what you're treating yeah. is the synovial lining, the lining yes. of the joint. You're trying to improve the health of that. Right, 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 right. So, and then the cartilage is gonna do better if the synovium's doing better. Sure. Right. So that synovium is producing that thick, healthy joint fluid right, in an ideal right. situation. And in unhealthy joint fluid, there are actually uh, abnormal inflammatory signals that can break down cartilage. So inflammation can be a maladaptive thing that goes on for a long time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that actually contributes to the breakdown decline of health. So there's a, you know, it's complicated, right? Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. we talked yeah. about that. Um, so there are times you want to calm inflammation down. 
but it's not necessarily through corticosteroids. You can calm it down with sugar, mm-hmm. which is very counterintuitive. Mm-hmm. You press where people are tender along the end, like if you're pushing on a knee joint. A lot of people are very tender right along here. Okay. Right? The inside the of the knee, where the where joint the joint meniscus joint. is, this mm-hmm. is the medial collateral ligament. Mm-hmm. You're pressing all along like this, and oh, 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 that's really tender right there, right yeah, there, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are little ligaments that attach this meniscus to that bone. Exactly. And one of the earliest changes in degenerative arthritis is breakdown in the meniscus, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And we, th- I think that's because these ligaments are gradually loosening as we age and from old injury. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The meniscus then is sliding around too much and it's getting weird pressures through it and then it starts to fissure and break down. And so 30, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, physicians were going, oh, you're tender right there. Something wrong with the tissue, you shouldn't be tender. Inject a little dextrose. Oh, hit there. Oh, inject extras there. Oh, you're tender there. Inject so, and they would just go every place you're tender, and, for, and oh, you're it. tender up here. You're tender up here. Oh, let's go out here. Oh, you're tender there. Inject some dextrose. Inject some there and there, and then physicians who weren't understanding the technique would look at that and go, "Well, you're crazy. You don't even know what you're treating. You're injecting all over the knee. You don't know what you're treating." It's like we're treating a a network of fibers that are breaking down, Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. It's impossible to injure just an ACL. Yeah, Right. oh, absolutely. Yeah, you injure all kinds of other tissues. I've had people with meniscal tears that were asymptomatic if I supported the quad that gave way before the meniscus tore. You Mm -hmm. support the quad and then they go, oh, I don't feel that slippage right there. Mm -hmm. So the, the way we move is just so simplistic when we think muscles pull on bones. Right, right, it's just right. much more complicated than that. Yes. <laughs> so the next most common thing that you, people use to inject is your own platelets, right? Yes. So that's the platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, right? So you draw blood, spin it in a centrifuge, most commonly two different spins so you can concentrate the platelets well. Um, and then the most common way of using that, and that has been studies, is injecting it inside the joint. Just one injection, getting inside the joint, let it spread all through the cartilage. And that's been shown to be effective. To me, it should be covered by insurance now. There's really good evidence for it. It's not covered by insurance. Eventually, we'll see. Um, But again, it's it's against that idea of anti-inflammation is the key to every pain, which is not true. Um, So the key to those injections are you need to inject uh, enough of the platelets the total number of platelets needs to be high enough to get a response. Okay. So there's a lot of what people call platelet-rich plasma that may be two times the concentration of what's in your bloodstream of these platelets. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a, you know, they draw 10 milliliters, like two teaspoons of blood, spin it a little bit, concentrate it by about half, inject that, and they call it PRP. It's it's not. What what do you use? It's minimally, so it's usually six, seven times the concentration. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, I'm usually drawing 60 mLs instead of 10 mm-hmm. or 20 mm-hmm. uh, and concentrating and then using most of that platelets that we get from the 60 mL inside the joint mm-hmm. to get enough platelets inside the joint. But the rest, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm using it other places where there's soft tissue problems that I've found through exam, history, ultrasound imaging. Mm-hmm. And so I'm often treating all these spots around the knee I was pointing out with the dextrose, but also up in the quadriceps or in the thigh. On the outside of the thigh, there's a real important structure that I present a lot in meetings. Okay. Which, if you're interested, is the lateral intermuscular septum of the thigh. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, and that is one of the most common places I treat, not just in knee pain, but in back pain, hip pain. Uh, it's a structure that's fundamental to why we can walk upright Mm -hmm. Uh, and yet it's looked at as this connective tissue right it's really contextual tissue right so your quadriceps your lateral quadriceps on the outside Uh of the thigh uh again if we learn they originate from bone then we don't learn the most important thing is that a large portion of it originates from the lateral intermuscular septum that's its anchor point. This connective tissue, yeah, soft thing, yeah. that the muscle is actually originating from, not the bone. It's pulling on that. Yeah. And if that isn't strong. It's tensioning that. Yes. So, and if that 
tissue is not tensioned by part of your gluteus maximus, your main buttocks muscle. That needs that pulls on that that. So if that's not pulling and tensioning that soft tissue, then the quadriceps won't work. And then your knee falls in, right? Yep. yep. So you do a squat, your knee falls in, you get knee pain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then if you tension higher up along the thigh, along this structure, and those two things work together better, suddenly your knee doesn't fall in and, oh, my knee doesn't fall, doesn't hurt when I do a squat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know about glute strengthening, right? You right. strengthen glutes all the time to treat knee pain, yep. right? But if you've had a fall on your hip uh, or you've done repetitive jumping exercises on one leg over you know, a sport over your lifetime mm -hmm. and eventually mm -hmm. develop knee pain, that may be breaking down in that soft tissue area. So I need to write an article about this, but I've done a lot of presentations. I still haven't written an article. I need to. Over time, then your body should gradually improve. But what we tell people, we say the prolo coaster is what you'll be riding. Uh, so you're up and down. Some days you're going, I think it's better. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm back. And then the next day you wake up going, oh my gosh, it's as bad as ever. Well, I would, I've fooled myself. This didn't work. Yeah. Didn't work. Yeah, I need yeah. to go get a oh. steroid shot. Right. No, 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 no. Deep yeah. breath. Hold on. Hang in there. You're riding the prolo coaster a little right. bit. Just kind of right. ride the ups and downs. And then usually, if we use platelets, for instance, I'll do one big treatment, and then I wait at least two months. Mm -hmm. You really don't know what tissue you're gonna get for six to eight weeks. That's when things are tightening, that new tissue is tightening down and getting stronger, and then your muscles have to learn how to interact with that tissue. And so really, I like to wait closer to three months mm -hmm. before thinking about a second treatment with platelets. Our system should fund building the tissue back before breaking it down, which is prolotherapy, PRP, before steroids. Absolutely, that's, absolutely. That's my philosophy, but right now the system doesn't favor that, and so it's an uphill battle to get people the treatment. In the future, the focus is gonna be more on regeneration. Yes. Um, and right now, the system is not built for that. This, what keeps hospitals open is the operating rooms mm -hmm. and so that it's not a grand conspiracy it's just the natural forces push people towards the more expensive solution that's kind of organized into the system and keeps everybody going the whole system going um, so again it's complicated, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nuanced, yeah. nuanced. nuanced. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate your nuanced non-surgical approach mm -hmm. and people that want to see you to explore these options, these regenerative medicine mm -hmm. options. You're practicing here in Austin, Texas. Yes. And you're online at proloaustin.com. That's me. All right. Well, yeah. excellent. Well, thank you so much yeah. for joining us. You bet. Thank you for really, whoever's watching. Yeah, really know. good, really good information. <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy, happy it's getting out there. Good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dr. Fullerton is a phenomenal provider of non-surgical treatments for your knees and other areas of your body as well. He practices in Austin, Texas, and can be found at proloaustin.com. And I'm Laurie Kurtz-Kelly of betterknees.com. I help clients here in Austin, Texas, and online worldwide. I offer customized plans to overcome knee pain, regardless of whether or not you've had knee injections. I'll help you apply a very unique three-part solution to improve your knees from the inside out. The sooner you get started, the more likely you can avoid a knee replacement and enjoy your active life for many years to come.